It's Amanda from I Sew A Lot and this is my quick video about my fabric and pattern haul and also my plans for March. Um, first of all, I am taking part, as I've said before, in the Sew My Style Challenge. So I have to make this month the Virginia Leggings by Megan Nielsen. Um, I'm sure everyone's fully aware of the pattern. I don't actually have it yet because I haven't purchased it. But I don't have fabric for this. Um, I think from reading the description of the fabric that you need, I think you need a jersey with 40% stretch. So I've got my eyes open for uh, some fabric with that kind of uh, recovery and stretch. Um, I was thinking of scuba maybe. And I was thinking about floral just for something different. but. Yes, I'm still on the hunt for the perfect fabric for those leggings because obviously I don't want it to be sheer. Um, so yes, I'm still looking for that. So I was really, really lucky. Last week I went to the Knitting and Stitching Show at the Olympia in London, met, met some really fabulous people um, to include Lisa Comfort from Sew so Over It. And I also met the lovely Gabby from Gabadashery, Megan from Pigeon Wishes, um, Sean from Kittenish Behaviour and also the lovely Marie from and I don't know if she has a blog but her Instagram handle is marie 4 james but they were all lovely and very very kind um, so while I was there of course my intention was to uh, pick up fabric but I did have a budget and I think I did quite well I didn't go crazy despite the amazing fabrics that were there so off we go firstly I of course had to visit the Sew Over It stand and I purchased this lovely jersey which is a lovely navy floral and it's got really good stretch um, both directions so it's two way stretch and um, I think I might make a manetta although I was strangely enough when I purchased it thinking oh that would make a really good um, ultimate wrap dress um, but because I haven't made that pattern yet from Sew Over It, but I do have it. And then, uh, scarily, uh, I think it was the following day or something, Lisa Comfort posted that she was making one and she did wear it on Sunday to the um, knitting and stitching show I saw on her Instagram stories. So I can't make an ultimate um, wrap dress for fear of her thinking that I am her stalker. So I'm not going to do that. But I might make the manetta without the collar, just a plain, uh, plain neckline. I might make that because it's been so um, comfortable. Okay, so that was my first purchase at the Toe Over It stand. My second purchase, and I had my eye on this, was this lovely, and I think it's a peach skin, um, geometric print. It's a really, really pretty pink, grey, and this colour is not really coming up too well, but it's actually sort of peppermint green. Um, I, this is screaming ultimate shift dress. It's got a really, really nice drape. There's not too much pattern, um, you know, to worry about ruining. So I'm thinking that is going to be an ultimate shift dress. So that's what I'm going to make. And I'm also going to use, and I'm mentioning it at the same time, obviously I showed that I purchased some more of this lovely peach skin from Sew Over It, I think it was last month. Well, yeah, last month. Um, so I'm going to make two two of those ultimate shift, shift dresses at the same time because I love shift dresses out of a peach skin because although they have static issues, you don't need to iron them, so you can throw them straight on. And it's perfect for work in the morning when you can't be bothered to iron anything. Okay, so my next purchase, and again, I'd had my eye on this as well. I've seen it on Fabric Godbrother, I think, but this was from Fabrics Galore, and it is. A, a viscose uh, I think it's a, a double crepe um, but it's really really nice weight it's really heavy um, and but it's got really lovely drape as you can see and it's got beautiful pansies all over it navy background and um, I'm gonna try and make and it might not be this month because it's quite quite involved but I'm gonna try and make and hopefully I'll have enough another um, sew over it um, vintage shirt dress because I think 
this would be fab but I am thinking potentially to if I don't have enough fabric so I've only got two meters and I think it's quite a hungry um, pattern as far as fabric goes to make a sleeveless version um, so yeah and also I do have I think some red crepe left so I could always do a contrast under collar if I don't have enough so I could do that and facing for my placket so I might do that okay I've also got a bit of a um, upholstery um, task my husband has asked me to make some new cushions for our sofa so I've got this really really lovely all of Kylie it's like a canvas upholstery type fabric really lovely and I've got two of these I've got this grey colourway and I've also got a really really lovely mustard I can't believe it, all of Kylie fabric is sold in Dunelm, for those of you who live in the UK, and it is expensive, I think it was £18 a metre, but um, I've got, I think, a metre of each, which should be enough to make my cushions for my sofa. I've got some really, really chunky um, piping that I'm going to use, I think I've got an off-white to use with this, and I've got a grey, which is a light grey, like the centre of these um, flowers. But all Kylie, who doesn't love it? And I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Is it all a Keely or Kylie? Who knows? But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna do those. They're gonna be one of my first things to make. Then obviously I showed you my denim that I had. Unfortunately, I didn't get round to making my dungarees last month because I had um, a really bad cold which turned into a chest infection, so I was really poorly, and I'm still a little bit out of breath, as you can probably hear. But yes, I'm gonna make my dungarees this month. It's gonna happen, I'm gonna do it. So yes, I'm gonna make those. And uh, the dungarees were a McCall's pattern. Um, I did post it in my last plans video, so if you want to see it, have, have a quick look. And I've noticed, actually it came up on my Instagram feed that they're doing a sew along. So that will be really helpful. And I also purchased this cotton interlock from Fabworks. I think it was Fabworks, yeah from Fabworks and yeah I'm going to make, and I said I was going to make it last time but I, I didn't get around to it, oh here's the McCall's pattern, I did get it out, it's McCall's M7547 and I'm going to make this version, dungarees, um, but yes I'm going to make a uh, Lisa and Co uh, men's metro tee and I really like this, I think it's a little bit 70s, I like the stripes, it makes me think of paper mints, if you're young you won't know what they are, but yes, I am going to make that for my husband, he doesn't know yet, so it might be a bit of a surprise. Um, I also still have my striped jersey that I've been banging on about, I think I'm going to make a molly top with that if I get round to it. I also purchased, which is really really beautiful, some really nice mustard denim it doesn't have any stretch and this was from sew me something i haven't used them before but they have lots of lovely lovely patterns which i've seen coming up on my instagram feed recently i think the julia top is a recent one a julia pocket top i think and that's there's been a lot of versions of that on instagram which have been really nice but this is a uh, quite a heavy weight um denim so it should be perfect for either a Clio, some dungarees, or I have also purchased the Grainline Studio uh, moss skirt. And I like either version, because I quite like this band on the bottom, but I would quite like a mini version. And the lovely Sarah from, um, so Sarah Smith, um, she has a blog, but she posts on Instagram, and she also, um, uh, is involved in the Minerva Crafts uh, blogger network so she's done some um, pieces for that as well she made a moss skirt recently and it was lovely um, I think it was a chocolate brown cord and she did add the extra band on the bottom and yes I fell in love with it and purchased it after I saw that I also didn't make uh, like I said I was going to the oh it's upside down the wanted tea mm by Vanessa Pousset, um, but the lovely um, Helen at Stitch My Style, I think that's her vlog, um, she did helpfully a, a run through of making the pattern because obviously it's in French and that would be really really helpful so I might get around to making that this month 
Um, also, the lovely healer at Saturday Night Stitch started a hashtag of get out my stash. And I, my stash is quite substantial. I'd be embarrassed to show anyone. But I do have these really, really beautiful Amy Butler. Um, I think they're um, like home decor weight fabric, but it is more like a sort of quilting cotton. And I have this, and this has been in my stash, I think potentially for about five years. So I am gonna get this out of my stash this month. And I also have some coordinating fabric to go with it. And I am gonna get this out of my stash. I have an idea of what I'm going to use it for, so watch this space. But this is coming out of my stash this month. It's been in there too long, it's too sad because it's so lovely. Okay, from a pattern point of view, I've also purchased the named Beatrix Skater Dress. I really like the style lines of this. It's a jersey dress. Uh, I think um, in the picture it's made from a Pontaroma. Uh, there's no, I don't think there's any fastenings or anything. Uh, a turtleneck, um, trumpet skirt with flattering vertical seams, apparently. Um, but I'd really like to make this. I think this would be nice. Spring's coming, be nice for the cardigan. So I'm hoping to make that, but potentially not this month because I do have some Pontaroma, a nice turquoise Pontaroma in my stash, which could be potential. But I'm thinking scuba would be really nice for that, a lightweight scuba rather than a heavy scuba. Um, and because Named had a um, sale on recently, um, I also purchased the Helmy, no sorry, the Esme Maxi Cardigan and the lovely Rosie Pena of um, Rosie Pena, who also um, vlogs and has a blog. Um, I think it's called Fashion and Style, but I could be wrong. Sorry Rosie. Um, she made one recently and it was really, really lovely. And so that tempted me to purchase that pattern when they had the sale. I also purchased the Jamie Jeans pattern, but um, I haven't printed that off yet because I think that's gonna be one for later on in the year. Um, another pattern that I purchased was the Jenna Cardi from Muse Patterns. And I just want to show you because this pattern is really, really great. It's got so many uh, different options and if I can show you the line drawing you can have so here we've got um, a cropped version that's got pleat details in the shoulders um, the yoke or you can have a three-quarter length this is so you can have it like this with the pleats or you can have three-quarter length plain because they've got a plain version there's also a short sleeve long sleeve and a plain long sleeve which and the body um i think the bodice is longer on this as well obviously these are cropped length so you've got a lot of options so really good value for money and cardigans are always handy when you make your own dresses you need plenty of cardigans so yes that is my haul bit of a mammoth one i'm afraid um but yes so i've got to get stitching so i've got so much to make so thanks for watching, um, I've got a one hour challenge coming and I think that's going to be up maybe next week. So keep watching uh, for more videos like this. So give me a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe um, for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, bye!